They played four weeks. Two coaches were fired. We're heading into week six now. How many more are on their way out? Jason Horowitz, Clark Judge, Ian Eagle, glad to be with you on the end zone presented by Sony. And look, we're not in the firing business. We're not in no. the we want guys to be gone. But fans are always calling for a new change. Uh, the Lions made a change at the top. But you, maybe you could say that's part of the, one of the firings that have happened so far. But look, when you look at the list of coaches of guys that are worried about their job, we could be. In a in a in a fire sale, this this could be another year where we've got seven, eight, nine new coaches. The vacancies, Clark. Which ones? Which one scares you the most? There. Well, when I look at that list, I mean, I look at Rod Marinelli and I look at Mike Nolan. They jump out at me. Okay, I mean, uh, some of the others, um, you know, Marvin. I, people think he would be in trouble in Cincinnati. I don't mm. think so. He's got two years left on his job. Right. I don't think that's going to happen. Mike Brown doesn't like to pay coaches that aren't working. Pre precisely. And, <laughs> <laughs> precisely. And and Romeo Cornell. I mean, let's give him a chance. I mean, they've, they've got some talent there. I do think he could be in trouble if they don't turn but this thing around. But they're a year. But they're a year removed from ten and six. Yeah, but I think they caught some magic in a bottle last. Year. And I think a lot of people understood that, you know, Anderson's not the quarterback he was at some point, but they'll make the move to Brady Quinn. But on that list, as I said, Mike Nolan's got to win in San Francisco. Um, and, you know, you would hope it would happen this year. They've given him the draft picks. He was kind of lucky to get to this point, but, you know, it's not happening. So, uh, and Marinelli in Detroit. Who knows what happens there? Honestly, I think we don't even know how good Rod Marinelli is as a coach because they haven't had the players. Frankly, I think they have to blow up the whole thing and start all over again. Ian, is Rod Marinelli the number one guy I, on your list, too? I, I think whenever the guy that brought you into an organization is relieved of his duties, odds are you, too, will be relieved of your duties. Maybe not right away, but uh, eventually someone's going to be brought in who's going to have a completely different thought on the direction of the team and the leadership of the team. Mm -hmm. Clark makes a great point in regards to San Francisco, and, you know, it's funny. When they brought in Mike Martz, I didn't know, were they bringing in Mike Martz to help Mike Nolan, or were right. they bringing him right. in to eventually <laughs> right. Just replace in yeah. right. Mike Nolan? But, but and that, keep that's going to be a big question. Keep there. in mind, there's another Mike out there, too, Mike Holmgren, who's going to be a free agent next year. Now, he yeah. insists... He's not going to coach next year, but could he go down to San Francisco as the president, well, okay. as the GM? Well, keep in mind about a guy who's working at CBS right now who's also who's be, uh, Mr. <laughs> coach Cower. Oh, uh, you know, yeah. super, there's a guy, you know, now, now he's going to have his pick of places. Maybe he doesn't go anywhere. Maybe, you know, I, he, he's enjoying working for CBS, so yeah. it's a different story. But, you know, the, the one guy that we didn't hit on yet that's very interesting to me is Herman Edwards uh, because – He's in a no-win situation right now. Herm mm -hmm. Edwards at Kansas City, there looks like there's nothing at the end. There's no quarterback stability there. The offensive line doesn't look very good. The defense isn't very good. And, and you know, let's face it, there doesn't look to be a, like there's a light at the end of his tunnel. Like maybe, you know, aside from Rod Marinelli, Marinelli, there is some kind of hope for some of those other coaches. If you come out and say to your fans that you're rebuilding, and basically Kansas City did that, they use code words, but for the most part they <laughs> admitted that, we're starting over. You better show some progress. And if that's a young quarterback at least getting a win here, a win there, that might be enough for some fans to pacify them. Brody Croyle, Clark, it's hard to believe. He has not won a game yet. Yeah, right. Well, and he can't he, stay healthy either. Okay, he said he's been hurt three times, seven games. Right. Has not won a game. Right. They still don't know right. if they can win eventually with Brody Croyle, and that's a bad sign because it all starts with that position. You, know, you and I... Uh, we know that coaches that have options, like Bill Cower, is never going to make the decision to go into a situation where there isn't a quarterback in right. place. Right. And Kansas City has a, a huge, huge dilemma I, with I, that spot. I agree with you. The one thing I do like about what they're doing, though, is they're playing the young kids. If you're going to be bad, be bad young. Don't be bad old. And yeah. Detroit was bad old for a while. You're going <laughs> to get these guys playing, and I'm going to tell you, by the end of the year, they should be a better ball club. You know, I think the other question that fans want to know is because you always ask the question, well, will he be fired during this season? Mm. If we are going to see a firing during this season, who, who is it going to be? And, and is it, you know, when you go to that point, does it really benefit the team at that point? You know, I, I don't think it does. I mean, we look at Hazlitt in St. Louis. What can he do? I mean, so they got a different coach. They got the same players. I mean, and, and you know, it just, I don't think, and you look at, we talk about Marinelli. Who are you going to find on that staff? That's a bad team. You know, St. Louis is a bad. There's some bad teams out there. No, I don't think it does benefit. You know, is Wayne Fonts still around? Because at <laughs> least with Wayne Fonts, every other year with Detroit, available, you, you still had every other year with Wayne Fonts. You knew you'd have a five and eleven year, yeah. and then you'd go ten and six. Yeah, the pendulum would swing, <laughs> <laughs> but you were consistently swinging. Yeah. Never <laughs> Wayne, Wayne, Wayne Fonts and Russ Thomas look so good, yeah, right? Exactly. <laughs> I, I don't think you're going to see another firing in season because that's in the NFL. That really is a bit of a cop out. And maybe it's to placate fans. That's the only thing on that list that we showed. Other than Marinelli, 
uh, unless they're over. And even then, I, I think they're going to play out the string and then just start over in two. They've done it before. Uh, Mike, uh, Steve Mariucci didn't make it the entire season, so the Lions have done it before. We'll yeah. see if Rod Marinelli does. Uh, again, we don't want coaches to be fired. No. No, you know, it's a tough economy right now. So uh, for different levels. For Clark Judge and I and Eagle, uh, we're going to let uh, everybody else. That's a different show. That's a different <laughs> show. Different <laughs> topic. CBS market Listen, watch. See, market and, and, and the money watch. Yeah. Go check CNN. See, I hope everybody is doing better. Uh, uh, polls, so that, you know, debate. We're done. This is the NFL presented by Sony. Take care, folks.